we're asked to graph each set of equations on the graph below, then indicate whether there is one solution, no solution, or infinite solutions to the system of equations. Let's first graph the two linear equations by determining the intercepts. Remember to find the x-intercept, or horizontal intercept, we set y equal to zero and solve for x, and to find the vertical or y-intercept, we set x equal to zero and solve for y. So beginning with the first equation, to find the x or horizontal intercept, we will substitute zero for y, which gives us negative eight x, and then minus four times zero, which is zero, equals 16. Solve for x, we divide both sides by negative eight. Simplifying, we have x equals negative two. The horizontal or x-intercept is negative two comma zero, which is here. And now let's determine the vertical or y-intercept by setting x equal to zero. Substituting zero for x, we have negative eight times zero, which is zero, leaving us with negative four y equals 16. To solve for y, we divide both sides by negative four. Simplifying, we have y equals 16 divided by negative four, which is negative four. The vertical or y-intercept is zero comma negative four, which is here. And now we can graph the first line. And now let's graph the second line using the same technique of determining the intercepts. Again, substituting zero for y and solving for x will give us the x or horizontal intercept and substituting zero for x and solving for y will give us the vertical or y-intercept. Substituting zero for y into the second equation, we have negative 12x minus six times zero, which is zero, equals 24. Solve for x, we divide both sides by negative 12. Simplifying, we have x equals negative two. The horizontal or x-intercept is negative two comma zero which is the same x-intercept as the first line. And now let's find the vertical or y-intercept. Substituting zero for x into the second equation gives us negative 12 times zero, which is zero, leaving us with negative six y equals 24. To solve for y, we divide both sides by negative six. Simplifying, we have y equals negative four. Notice how the vertical or y-intercept is also zero comma negative four, which is this point here, and therefore we have the same line twice where the two lines coincide. Which means the two lines have an infinite number of points in common, and therefore the system of equations has infinite solutions. And now for the second system of equations, let's graph both lines by writing the equations in sloped intercept form with the form y equals mx plus b. Where b is the y-intercept and m is the slope. So beginning with the first equation, we need to isolate the six y by adding two x to both sides. Simplifying, we have six y equals, let's write the right side as two x minus six. And now to solve for y, we divide both sides by six or divide each term by six. Simplifying, we have y equals two six x, which simplifies to one third x. And then minus six divided by six gives us minus one. And now let's do the same for the second equation, which is negative x plus three y equals zero. The first step is to add x to both sides. Simplifying, we have three y equals x, so if we want one x. To solve for y, we now divide both sides by three. Simplifying, we have y equals one third x, and if we want, we can write plus zero to recognize that the vertical intercept or the y-intercept is zero. Now let's go ahead and graph both lines. Let's first graph y equals one-third x minus one. The vertical or y-intercept is negative one, which is here. 
and the slope is the coefficient of x, which is one third, which means from the vertical intercept, to find additional points, we go up one and right three, and we can do this multiple times, up one, right three, and now we can graph the first line. And now let's graph the second line, given by the equation y equals one third x plus zero. So because b is zero, the vertical intercept is zero, which is the origin, which is here. And the slope of the second line is also one third. So from the origin, we go up one, right three, up one, right three. And because the two lines have the same slope and a different vertical intercept, we can see the two lines are parallel. So the two lines are parallel, which means they never intersect, and therefore they don't have any points in common, and therefore there is no solution to the system of equations. I hope you found this helpful.